Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today we are going to be talking about the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. Now this is the outer box which I just think is beautiful and oops, she opens up like that and then the palette would be on the inside. Of course I have the palette on my dressing table right now. Look at that artwork. Isn't that beautiful? There's a snake on it. I love that. It's just such a kind of unique idea. Love that. Now the palette. Now this. Oh, let me try not to blind you all. <laughs> this is absolutely stunning. The packaging is just mind blowing. It's the same design on here as on the outer, outer box. And then you have this beautiful design on the back. How stunning is that? The ingredients are on the outer box. So if you want to know what's in, you will need to keep the box, which I will be doing anyway because it's unique. And so let's show you the inside. This is the Flower Punk palette. How absolutely beautiful is that i'm going to take this off now this is the mirror and also the lid and this is the color story it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so if you would like to see how i created this look and hear my thoughts on this palette so far then just keep on watching so the first shade I'm going to go in with is Peach Soju. My eyes are already primed. I use the uh, Juvia's Prep Prime Eye Primer. It's in shade one. Ooh. And I'm taking this just kind of most of the way in the crease. This is a really pretty color and as most of you will know green and pink is my favorite one of my favorite combos I love all of the Kaleidos eyeshadow palettes I've tried so far I've got the uh, Club Nebula and the Escape Pod that I've tried and then I have the Astro Pink and the Electro Turquoise um, that I haven't tried yet. Okay, and then I'm just going to get a fluffier brush just to go into those edges there. Okay, I'm liking how this is looking so far. I kind of have in my head what I want to do, but it never stays that way, so I'm just going to go with it. God, I've been dying to try this palette, and I'd been after the, um, the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette for a, a long time and when this came out it was like it's it reminded me of the Gemini palette but better that like the color story just spoke to me so much more beautiful Okay, so same as the other side, I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush and just go over, go over the edges there. 
Okay, so just building up the colour a little bit more towards the crease. Well, first colour down I have absolutely no complaints whatsoever. Oh, this is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And what am I going to go in with next? So next, I'm going to go in with, oh, which one am I going to go in with? I'm going to go in with Golden Age. And Golden Age is kind of going to be placed next to the pink. Pink, peach. I'm not very good at describing colours. As you will know if you are not new. If you're new, I'm really not good at describing colours. <laughs> I do my best, but oh, never mind. You can see, hopefully, it's showing up true to colour on the camera. Well, this is more like a mustard. And just where they join, I'm just going to wiggle over the line just a little bit. Okay. And then just going over the edges a bit. This is, uh, this is just blending itself out. Beautiful. This colour is absolutely gorgeous. Just like the perfect mustard. And it's the perfect one to go right next to the pink because you can kind of blend them slightly. And it doesn't look too bad. I love the little imprints on these as well. It always makes it so difficult to uh, put your brush in because you kind of don't want to, don't want to ruin them. Or is that just me? I always feel bad because they just look so perfect, and then the moment you dip your brush in, that's gone. Having said that, though, these seem pretty indented, so hopefully. It will uh, take longer for them to disappear. So, how many of you have picked this up already? And if you have, what do you think of it? So far, I've only used these two shades, and I have to say, I'm I'm loving it. Really loving it. But then I knew if it was going to be the same quality as, say, the Club Nebula and the Escape Pod, then I was definitely going to love it. Okay. Alrighty then. So just in with that bigger brush, just to really soften the edges up there. This brush I find absolutely amazing for blending out. It's the Spectrum B07 and I love it. Okay, so next going into Earthship, this one here. And all of these, um, for all of these colours, I've been using Spectrum A12 brushes. This has to be one of my absolute favourite brushes I love it and I'm not sure if I have three or four of them but yeah I love them so let me just make sure that's down there I do find with this Juvia's eye primer if you haven't put anything down on it say it does crease but with the eyeshadow on throughout the day I haven't found it creases at all so in with Earthship and Earthship is going 
right on the outer V. Oh, this is so beautiful. And I'm just going to kind of tap it into the mustard colour there, Golden Age. Okay, yeah, this this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I am a sucker for these kind of deep grungy mossy greens. Absolute sucker for them. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'm just packing it on at the moment. I will blend properly in a moment, but I just want to get this pigment down. I'm definitely in love with this shade. Just look at that. And just look how beautiful it looks next to Golden Age. So this is Earthship. Okay, so taking the brush that I used for Golden Age, I'm going to kind of blend between the two. And then back in with Earthship. And my brain is so slow at the moment. <laughs> so I'm just going back in with Golden Age just to make sure we keep that colour. I don't want it to kind of disappear. We can blend out the outside again in a moment. I just want to make sure that this is kind of firmly in place. Does that makes sense? And then back in with peach soju. Make sure I've got these shades as intense as I can. Not that they need much help. These are absolutely gorgeous. And then just going in with the blending out brush again. Just going to just gently, gently wiggle that over the very edges just to soften them. And just dipping back into Earthship a little bit. I just want to make sure. Make sure we don't kind of blend it away. And then I'm just going to kind of bring the Earthship, Earthship? Yes, Earthship. So I'm just doing it just a tiny bit at a time because we don't want the, the fallout. Okay, and then The same on this side. Oh, 
Right, so for, for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with chlorophyll, which is this green. I'm so excited for this one. It looks so pretty. Is that brush going to be too big? I think. Mm, let's give it a go. Right, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I like this a lot. This is so pretty. Let me I'll put a little bit on at a time. I'm slathering this on myself. It's so beautiful. That is beautiful. Right, I am going to take just, you will do, just a little brush to dip into Earthship. And I just want to get Earthship right up against that lash line again. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then just back in with that chlorophyll because I don't want to lose it. It's so pretty. That is absolutely gorgeous. So for the outer part of my lid, I'm going to go in with Sun Gazer. So I'm spraying it just so I don't get any fallout. Look at that. <sighs> that shade is so, so beautiful. I am I'm loving this and then for the inner part of my lid I'm going in with stained glass beautiful pink shimmer and again just spraying the brush That's beautiful. Oh my word. Ooh, that is so pretty. So pretty. I'm just tapping it over the join there. That's just beautiful. And again, just tapping over, over the join there. That pink shifts green. Do you know, I thought I'd gotten green on the brush somehow, but no, it actually does shift green and I'm pretty sure the one I'm using next shifts slightly pink wow okay so we are going to go in with aloe cove 
and I am going to spray this because I want this for my not the hair for my inner corner I think this is going to look amazing yes 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 this is just amazingly beautiful i'm just in love with this wow This is just looking perfect. This is why I don't like to make plans because quite often when you make a plan, you don't get as excited over what you're creating because you kind of know or have an idea what it's going to look like. I love just putting on colours and just seeing where, where we go with it. I am... I'm loving this so, so much. Okay, so I'm going to nip off, finish my face. I will come back to show you the finished look and also have a bit of a chat about the Flower Punk palette. So uh, if you would like to see that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, so I am back with the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Now, let's get on to this beauty. Or oh, by the way, everything else I have on my face, you will find listed in the description box below, should you wish to uh, find out. So, this beauty here, I, I love, love the artwork. And at this point, I do need to bring this in. Look at that box. Now, this is what the palette came in and if you open her up look at that absolutely gorgeous beautiful beautiful artwork and you've got the ingredients set on the back and one of my hairs attached to it <laughs> and what does it say here i was right i should have read this first right so it says ultra pigmented highly blendable exceptional payoff yeah a radically verdant vision of lush green let me try again a radically verdant vision of lush golden greens and soft earthy tones includes two sparkling duochromes i spotted that one metallic and six highly pigmented matte can't argue with any of that so this beauty here try not to blind you because obviously this is mirrored behind the uh the artwork the back of the palette look at that absolutely beautiful and of course you can let me get to the side um have the palette like this so that you can uh do it or comes off completely and is a mirror. I just think it's fantastic. And where it's like magnetic, you can kind of have it up like that or close it or put it up like that. It is just, oh, I'm gonna take the mirror off for a moment so that we can talk about these beautiful, beautiful shadows, my word. And there is, <laughs> there's a little bit of mess where I've been using them, obviously. Um, but yes, these two here are duochromes, absolutely beautiful. And then this here is a metallic and I, 
I am in love with everything about this palette. Um, the only shades I haven't tried are Mint Fever and what are you called? Nouveau. So those two, those two there are the only two shades that I haven't used yet. I used all of the rest in this eye look and I am so so happy with the performance the packaging the color story i'm just in love with it completely and utterly and the fact that it does have snakes on the packaging that wins my heart also because i keep snakes i love them this is just beautiful absolutely beautiful and the same amazing quality as you'll find in the Club Nebula. So if you like the quality of the Club Nebula, you're going to love this too. It's beautiful. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this palette. Have you got it? Are you going to get it? What do you think of the packaging? Because I know there's been a lot of controversy over the like magnet, the fact that the uh, the top comes off completely. Let me know what you think. I personally, I just think it is so unique. It is so beautiful. I just love it so, so much. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I will wrap this up now. So if you've liked this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you are new around here, hi, I'm Steph. I am a lover of all things makeup, but especially colourful makeup, even more so greens. And uh, I'm a huge supporter of indie brands. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.